Hi, I'm Joyce Todd. And I'm Kim Bradley. And we welcome you again to A Moment in His Presence. For the month of April, we will be discussing 1 John. And today we're going to start with chapter 1. And as I read uh, chapter 1, I was looking at verse 4. And verse 4 reads, these things we write unto you that your joy may be full or you may say complete in another version, but that your joy may be full. So what I would like to do is just make three points from this chapter so that you and I can experience the fullness of the joy that John talked about. First of all, John uh, has a fullness of joy because he understands the relationship between him and the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. When you understand who Jesus is and who God is, you can have that relationship with them. And not only did he understand the relationship, uh, he had the fellowship. But you know, thinking back, uh, just on the fella, on the relationship, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you can't really have a relationship with someone you don't know exactly. or someone you're not around a lot. Exactly. And exactly. so one thing John talked about, he talked about that fellowship because he walked with Jesus. He talked with Jesus. He touched the nail, scored hands. He listened to his teaching. And so being around Jesus, he developed a fellowship, a fellowship with Jesus. And that's the way we want to be in, in Christ. Mm -hmm. We can have joy when we know our relationship with God and, and Jesus Christ. And then we can have that fellowship when we spend time, spend time with them. And how do we spend time? In the Word of God, the living Word of God that we have in this day and time. Mm -hmm. And then the third point is, uh, the second point, I'm sorry, is... Uh, coming from uh, verse 5 and 6 where, which reads, I'm sorry, God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. And then it goes on to say in verse 7, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. God is light. You know, uh, through the disobedience of one, sin entered the world but from the obedience of one Jesus Christ the sins of the world was taken away and so the sin of the world brings us darkness the world is in darkness it's in darkness and God is the light that shines in the darkness even though this is a dark world we still can see the light of God when we have him living within us Jesus said that not only uh, uh, about the light, that he is the light of the world. And guess what? Jesus, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Jesus Christ lives within us. So we can be that light because he told us, the disciples, that we are the light mm -hmm. of the world. And so then we become that light to this dark world, that men can see our good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. And so... That should bring us joy to know that God is like, we don't have to stumble around in the dark and not find our way in life because we have the light of God within us and shines through us. And then the third point that brings us joy is to know that we have forgiveness of sin through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And Kim, you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, I just want to say, for me, the, the most important thing in this, is, as you were saying, is that joy. But like you said, it comes with the intimacy mm -hmm. of knowing Christ, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is, you can't have that intimacy when, when, when you have a broken relationship. So we first got to admit that we are wrong. Mm -hmm. But one good thing is that John 1 and 9 says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins mm -hmm. and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have learned over the years that it does not matter what I do, that God still loves me and that love never changes. When we confess our sins, we're admitting, Lord, we messed up. Lord, we made a mistake. But because God is so faithful, when we make that admission, he does forgive us. And when the Apostle Paul wrote this book, 
It's because he knew what it was. Like Joyce said, he knew what it was to walk with God, Christ, to talk with Christ. He had that intimacy with Christ that we all long for. And it's like when he wrote this book, he was uh, he knew the very heartbeat of the Father through Christ. And he wanted to share with us how we too could have that same intimacy, that same fellowship, and that same joy. And you know why he wanted us to know all that? Because we are, and you are, the apple of his eye.